Hey everyone, Bobby here. Today I'm gonna show you how I solved the uh, Captrix level three from Vulnhub. Yeah, let's let's get into it. First, I ran nmap. Oh uh, no, let me show you. Let me show you the IP first. So I ran nmap discovered to find the machine's IP, and the machine is running on VMware. So here you have it, Captrix VM three. Yeah, this is it. And I run net discovery to find its IP. So its IP is 172.161.185. So I run nmap minus a and the IP. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fast because it only has two two open ports. So yeah. All right. So we see that it has an open SSH port on 22 and a an HTTP port open on 80 so we're gonna check it out alright so what I found interesting is that uh, on gallery so if I go to gallery <coughs> you can find a lot of strange things um, well I'll go back yeah here I've tried to upload um, upload some reverse shell uh, but it didn't work uh, like that and as you see we have gallery slash gallery slash admin slash g admin but it's it's pointed to keyoptrix 3com but I haven't added it to the slash ATC slash host because I don't usually do that so I just I'm just gonna say slash g admin so basically it is using gallerific so first I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up to see Galerific exploit like that. So and we're gonna use the first one, which is Galerific uh, SQL injection, and it's doing an SQL injection on the ID parameter on gallery. So I'm gonna copy this. I think it's slash gallery slash gallery PHP. Let me see. No, it's uh, slash gadmin slash gallery dot php if I remember. Yeah, so it is. So the link is slash gallery slash gallery dot php and id. And as you can see, it, it says you have an error in your SQL syntax. So uh, I'm gonna paste the com the. Um, the ID like that and delete this and if I run it it's gonna say the select statement have a different number of columns could not select a category and what I did is I deleted 8 and 7 from the command and just entered uh, yeah and it gives us the admin and not tick for uh, the user the credentials for the G admin page. So I'm gonna copy these and I'm gonna go back to G admin and I'm gonna paste paste like that and copy this paste it here and now log in. So there's a dashboard here, and you can upload photos and stuff. But um, at first look, I've tried to upload a reverse.php. It didn't work, even though it got approved. It didn't uh, execute. And I've tried to upload a uh, .php .g, uh, g, g, .gpg. And that one didn't work either. So... After this, I went back to the slash gallery slash id id equals like oh shit sorry uh, like that. I've copied the whole URL the the call the whole uh, link, and I did um, SQL map on it. And basically, if you run SQL map minus u, paste it here. It's gonna take a while, but it's gonna find out everything. Uh, hold up, I need to do minus 
minus dump minus oh so it's gonna take a while I'm gonna skip to the moment that it ends and uh, I'm gonna be right back all right so uh, it took a while but as you can see we've got the uh, username and a password for two users and um, after some trial and error it turned out that these users are actually for SSH all right so what I did I I checked both users but the loan threat is the one that we are looking for so I'm gonna say SSH loan threat at 172 116 like that enter no oh, sorry 172 like that and the password star wars oh, and it worked all right ah, this is lovely um <laughs> for some reason obs keeps on crashing when you log into ssh so hopefully now it's stable uh, it seems like seems like it you know, so i'm gonna go to the temp and here i've put a lean in on that sh um but it doesn't really help us except if you run sudo minus L it says okay user learn thread may run the following commands on this host so I thought of using uh, this one uh, HD which is an HD editor so you say H sudo like that oh Error opening terminal x term to 56 color. Okay, I'm gonna search this up. And it must do export term e equals x term. And paste it. And now run the command again. So you see it's like an it's like an editor. I've never used it before actually. So it was kinda strange for me. So I pressed F10 to exit it, to exit it, and <clears throat> what I did then is modify the sudoers uh, file. So you say uh, sudo user local bin ht eight slash atc slash shadow. Uh, uh, yeah. So first to see if it works, I did this slash atc slash shadow. So as you can see, you can see the containings of the uh, slash atc slash shadow file. And first, I've uh, I've grabbed the root hash and tried to crack it, but it wasn't uh, anything relevant. Right, so I go to if I press F6, no F6, uh, sorry. If I press F10 back and now say slash atc slash sudoers, and now we press F4 to edit it. F4. Uh, or F6 was it? Or text? Oh, F6 and then text. And now F4. Yeah, I really don't know how to work around it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I press F3 and now slash ATC slash sudoers. Alright, and now we can edit it. And what we can do is we either delete everything from here like so and say all all like just as we had with uh, root on this previous line and now how to save it well you press F2 uh, press it one more time to make sure and then F10 and then you say it must be with a white stripe on it so now it's selected and you say yes all right, so we do sudo minus i. Yeah, and we are root. And we have the congrats.txt um, file here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here it says about the vulnerable application and this exploit, which I've used as well, um, the gallerific one. For the SQL injection, yeah, I'm gonna put uh, I put a, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description box. All 
Alright guys, so this was Captrix level 3. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, to thumbs up, because uh, I really, I really like, uh, I really like putting out content for you guys. Uh, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe and like it. Um, until then, guys, um, see you next time. Bye.